Hey everyone, Rob here. I thought I'd do another quick video on some of the updates that I found most interesting about the eruption over the past 24 hours. The first being this image here taken, or I guess sent or taken, I don't know, by NASA on May the 4th. And a lot of you may know that as the Star Wars Day, as in May the 4th be with you. That aside, I thought it was very interesting that you can see this much smoke coming out of the eruption and going out to the ocean. Now, the activity has increased quite a bit over the last week or so, and there's what they say is a higher lava flow than previously. Not a great deal, but more. So it's expected that you would get more smoke, I guess. But either way, I thought this was a very cool picture, and I wanted to share that with you. Now, the main event that I wanted to talk about, if you watched my last video, you know that I went on about how much more difficult it is going up towards the volcano this time that I went than previous times. And the reason is, you know, it's getting slippery. There's a lot more sand and small pebbles and, and, and things like that. So what they're saying now is that they're possibly going to build a road to make it more accessible, which would extend from this road down here all the way up to Fagrutsfeld and then up the mountain, which is located here. Now, the engineering, engineering firm EFLA is exploring the possibility with the landowners and the town of Grindavik is also, you know, workshopping with their committees on making this all possible. But the idea is to make it easier for tourists to see the eruption and they also are looking at improving the current hiking trail so that it can also be used as an emergency route for vehicles. Now, they are saying that, again, building this road is not going to mean that all of these cars are going to be just driving up the mountain. Their goal would be, my guess, is to make it more accessible for things like tour buses and the emergency vehicles that I mentioned before. People who can't or they don't have the mobility to go up you know, a three, four kilometer hike there and back that they want sort of a, a, qu a quicker experience of the volcano. That's what this road's going to be going to be for. So I think, uh, I, I mean, I think that's a, a great idea. One thing I wanted to show here, which is why I have Google Maps pulled up, is they haven't said exactly where this road's going to go. So I took a look and all I've said is they're going to utilize older roads in order to make this possible. And I found just by this parking lot here, there is a, a path or that looks like a path. If you can see it here on your screen, just follow the mouse cursor. But you can you can see this existing road that goes up along this nature area right towards the Fagrasvat mountain. And that's the goal of what they're looking at is look, utilizing an older road to go up the mountain. My guess is this road would probably make the most sense. And you can see here, it'll wrap around the mountain. And I'm thinking it'll go up in this area to the top here. Now, I'm not an engineer. I actually don't know if this is possible. I've just been looking at Google Maps and taking a look at sort of the height and how everything is. And you can see here, perhaps that's the best place to do it. Maybe some of you know a bit better if you're into uh, engineering and road construction and things like that, or especially if you live in Iceland or building roads on mountains. But in my mind, that looks like the safest bet. There's also this area over here, but I think this is the area that, that people are sort of traveling up, if I remember correctly. So I think they're gonna be looking towards this other side of the mountain so that the you know cars are not impeding with everyone walking towards so if you are planning on coming to Iceland or you want to come to Iceland and you're kind of worried that it's going to be very difficult to get up the mountain to see the eruption the town of Grindavik and the engineering firm Epla I hope I'm saying that correctly they have you covered they are working on a solution so that everyone can experience this I thought it was it was great to see that because, again, being there 
and having gone a couple times, I think everyone should have the opportunity to go see this. One last thing I want to talk about and did a couple videos ago, they have agreed and decided on a name for the lava field and the town of Grindavik has agreed it will be called Fagrotrun. Fagrotrun. Ah, it's, you know, it's very hard to say. But um, yeah, that's the name that they agreed on for the lava field or the, the general lava. So that's it for this update. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we get more information on this road soon so that I can bring that to you if you are planning to come here and you are worried about the, the hike. So if you like the video, hit the like button. I guess that makes sense. And if you want to keep updated on, on the more videos I do, just hit subscribe and you know there's the bell option if you want to be notified when something new comes up. I got some more stuff in the works for the coming weeks, which I'm really excited about. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. So until next time, thank you so much for watching.